Hi and welcome to my VR Flight Sim channel. This is a quick video to learn about how to use Windows 10's built-in virtual desktops. We're going to look at how to organize and use a virtual desktop and how to put them into X-Plane when you're in VR, specifically when using the Oculus Rift. So let's look at the keyboard shortcuts associated with this. We've got Windows key, Control and D to create a new desktop. We've got Windows key, Control and F4 to close the current space. Windows key and tab, which takes you to task view where you can sort the applications. And control and Windows key and arrows left or right to go to the next or previous desktop. Let's have a look at our desktop. So I've got the normal situation here where you've got one space with all the applications running on it. Uh, here's an Explorer window. Um, here's the Oculus Mirror Navigraph in the background. You can see everything along the taskbar. So I want to click this button here, which you can reach with the Windows key and tab keyboard shortcut, but this is the task view button. So we'll just click that. And then all the running applications are shown. And we can also click new desktop on the top left. So I'll click that and that gives us a new space desktop two here. So we want to move some applications into that space. And we do that by right clicking on the one we wish to move. So let's move Navigraph along. Click on move to. If you've got more desktops, they're, they're listed here, but let's just click on desktop two. So there we go. And you can see immediately that that's moved into that space. So we'll just click on there. And now we've got this on its own, on its own uh, virtual desktop. So if we want to move back from here to the uh, first space, the original desktop, then we just press control, Windows key and left. And there we are back where we were before. And control, Windows key and right takes us forward to it again. And you can do this as many times as you want. It doesn't take up too much memory. It doesn't actually optimize memory either. It doesn't have an effect on the programs that are running, but it's just to keep everything less cluttered. So we'll click on task view again. We'll click on new desktop. And now we'll go back to the desktop one. And then let's say we'll put X-Plane on its own window. So we'll move that to desktop three. Okay, and then there it is on its own. So what happens if you want to close one of these desktops but you've got applications running on them? Well, if you click on task view and you hover over the desktop thumbnail, you'll see this little cross. If you click the cross, the application that's running within that space will move to its left. So we'll click this cross and you can see it's appeared in desktop two over the Navigraph chart. So you don't lose any running applications by closing the virtual space. So let's go ahead and put that back on a, its own desktop again. So new desktop, hover over here, right click on the X system window, move to desktop three, and there it is on its own. And I think I'd like to also put over there Active Sky for X plane. Now, one thing that's useful when you're streaming is actually to have Edge running on its own so you can see people chatting to you or any other sort of interactions you're having. So let's create a final new desktop and we'll just switch to that one and have Edge running and I'd log into Facebook or whatever here. So let's have a look at how this uh, comes together when we're in the virtual space in VR in the cockpit. So here I am in the cockpit of my Piper Warrior in X-Plane. I'm sitting at Shoreham Airport on an overcast day. Um, and I want to bring those uh, windows in. I want to bring that virtual desktop space in with all those different applications uh, so that I can have it in the cockpit. So on the right hand controller, go ahead and press the a flat menu button and hold that down. That brings up the Oculus Dash. Now I find it useful to just minimize anything that's running here so that you've got a completely open space. And this icon here is virtual desktop. So we're going to click on that and it brings up a representation of our desktop. Now, as you can see, it's a bit close and it's a bit large to fly with. So just holding down the grip button, that's the underneath button on the Rift controller, you can see that straight away it just holds onto it and I can move it about. I'm going to resize it by using the little mini joystick on top left and right. You can push it further away and bring it back towards you. I'm going to have it quite close and sort of sitting next to me in the uh, passenger seat right here. So I'm going to, if I let go of that there, now there's a little icon down here, that pin icon. I'm going to click on that 
and that will keep it in place. So now when I click that flat menu button on the Oculus controller again and go back to the cockpit, so now we've got a persistent uh, uh, virtual desktop uh, pinned in the cockpit and just like before I can use those keyboard shortcuts which you could program to keys on your controller. So if I just press the control um, uh, Windows key and left it goes to the first desktop, there's the Navigraph charts. If I go control Windows key and right there's that third desktop we made and the fourth desktop that would have say Facebook or Twitch running in it if you were streaming and needed to keep an eye on things and you can switch between them as you want. Um, importantly you can also uh, manipulate what's on screen but you have to be in Oculus mode so once again press the flat key down and then the uh, you can use the um, controller uh, as a mouse on screen to manipulate things when you're finished press the Oculus key, uh, press the uh, menu key again and we're back in the virtual space and that window can be moved around again at the end. Um, the only thing is that sometimes the mouse doesn't become uh, responsive and you have to click the normal mouse to, to get that back on track again. But um, apart from that, it's, it's pretty, uh, pr pretty trouble free and hopefully should give you options for uh, having access to your desktop, maybe watching a bit of Netflix. I don't know if that works um, when you're on long flights. Uh, so there you go. I hope that helps. Any questions in the comments? Cheers.